We cannot be too proud to change course. With this virus, times change every single day. The data changes, the situation changes, and we've got to be prepared to change as well. Breaking news tonight, the governor changing course and issuing a statewide mask mandate. That mandate is in effect for two weeks starting today. This comes as he issues an executive order about schools reopening. Our Quintus Jones is following the latest developments. Some schools are already in session and so far six students have tested positive for the virus and as many other schools are set to begin, for some of them the governor says not so fast. With a two-week push, I believe we can have the maximum effect and allow for our education for our kids to occur. Tonight, just days before many schools are set to start, Governor Tate Reeves is pushing back the start date for several counties. There are a handful of counties that certainly reach that threshold of being hotspots. We must pump the brakes in hardest hit areas. The governor pumping the brakes on 7th through 12th grade schools in seven counties, including Forest, right here in the Pine Belt. And with the new statewide mandate, the governor says all teachers and students must wear a mask. We have seen over the last several weeks that when people participate and wear masks, it helps. The governor says he spent the last few days reviewing the reopening plans for school districts. He says virtual learning will be a key component for schools across the state. Whenever possible, I will allow local school leaders to determine the best plan for their local schools. Those closest to the classroom will be best equipped to make those decisions. Now, the governor says 132 school districts will offer lunch inside the classrooms, while 72 school districts will have in-person and virtual learning. For now, I'm Quintus Jones in Hattiesburg.